Hey YouTube, Kenny here on a Friday afternoon. Just figured I'd touch base with you. I had uh, promised that I was going to do a review on those Lucid Light sunglasses, but unfortunately um, there was an issue. Uh, the unboxing, I had uh, unboxed those white pair and then um, towards the end it mentioned that I had another box, which were the black ones, the nitrous, and unfortunately uh, after using those this past weekend, there was a small issue, so I had to contact Lucid, and that's kind of why I'm getting a late start this afternoon too, or today. Um, <clears throat> I was on the phone with uh, my uh, best friend contact over at Lucid, uh, Helen, who unfortunately has a lot of damage control issues she's been dealing with right now, and I do really sympathize with her. And uh, anybody that might be watching this video, please don't give up on Lucid and do not give up on Helen. She uh, She's going to come through. I know she will. Anyways, that all being said, uh, I figured, well, if I can't do a review on the glasses, maybe I could um, do a little bit more of a, a little bit about myself and uh, do like a kind of a review of my week. So um, we've uh, started this out with... Uh, Kind of getting up and getting some laundry done. Uh, got the, uh, I don't know if I got the dishwasher. Oh no, I should say, to get the dishwasher. So, yeah, we got some phone calls taken care of. And um, <clears throat> I figured I'd uh, take you out. I just took the garbage and recycling out. And um, there was a project that I was working on on the side of the house over here that I thought would be kind of cool uh, to show you uh, what I've been up to. So, put this on pause for a second. So um, I'm going to go over here to my side yard. This camera around. There you go. Um, right now I'm referring to it as my Sanford and Son uh, junkyard. Uh, but what we got going on over here. Hold on a second. Is, uh, originally this uh, side yard was just uh, all the rock like this. And um, a good friend was staying here and <clears throat> uh, laid all this nice pavers down here for us. And uh, <clears throat> a nice area for the garbage cans and the, the kayak and stuff like that. Um, by the way, this stand is a YouTube video there if anybody's looking for something. Uh, so <clears throat> what ended up happening, though, is... Um, uh, normally this is where we keep the grill and uh, the smoker, which I just got for my birthday. Uh, thank you, Mom. Thank you, uh, Keith, Kenneth, Babel, and Giovanni for all the uh, supplies and stuff that go with it. So uh, once we get this project done, hopefully we'll be able to start using it. So anyways, <clears throat> what ended up happening was uh, we had these pavers like a was telling you that it all came through over here and uh, they ended here with a wider spot well because the grill and the smoker <clears throat> normally get placed in here uh, problem was this was filled in with rock too so there was an unsteadiness kind of like this <laughs> and um, so because of the the easiness I guess you could say of, of placing pavers uh, out here because our ground is is so hard um, what I was able to just simply do was, uh, <clears throat> didn't even bother wetting, wetting the ground down initially, uh, just scrape the rock, kind of level out the ground as best it could, and then, uh, simply place the, the pavers down where I wanted them, added any additional soil or such to kind of, like I said, get them somewhat level. They didn't have to be 100%, and then <clears throat> give the ground a good soaking, and then, uh, just simply some body weight and um, came back like I don't know about an hour or so later got to let some of that water you know absorb down into the ground so and I do realize that we are in the desert and wasting water is not you know such a great idea but in the grand scheme of things pouring concrete I had to use less water in my opinion than I would have if I had 
actually poured concrete like one of the other projects that uh, we'll show you later. So anyways, once these are all set in, the idea would be to just come back, hey, <clears throat> come back uh, and put a little perma sand in there just to lock everything in place and then throw that stone back around. So it's a nice little easy project. Uh, unfortunately, people that have, uh, you know, nice brown, black uh, topsoil um, won't be able to take care, take that, that benefit of being able to just use the hard desert ground like we have out here. So let's get, uh, get out of here and I'll show you what I'm talking about on one of those projects there that has the uh, concrete. Something like, for example, these. These are uh, molds. You simply pour the concrete into the mold, let it firm up, pull the uh, mold off. And uh, so these are filled in partially with perma sand. Um, unfortunately, with things that are going on in society today. Uh, hey, where are you going, playboy? That's uh, my son's bunny. And this is Ella. Hi, Ella. Wanna say hi? Good girl. Yeah, good. Good girl. <clears throat> Ella was purchased, uh, she was gonna be my service dog before COVID hit, unfortunately. I wasn't able to get her into classes because because of the COVID issue. So, hey buddy. Bunny's running around. Let's see if I can get him. Uh, hold on. Let's here. Hey, Come here, Come here, boy. Say hi to your fans. Say hi. This is Giovanni's bunny. He's got so many names. I call him Playboy Buddy. Oh, huh. good boy. I'll get you inside. I'll be right back, okay? I'm gonna take him inside. It's getting too hot out here. Okay, sorry about that. It starts getting hot. We gotta take them inside. So, alrighty. Well, we're gonna pause this for now. Um, gonna try to get some stuff down around the house, and uh, maybe I'll catch back up with you all later. If not, uh, have a great weekend. And like I said, hopefully next week we'll be able to get that uh, video up. So, thanks for watching and uh, be safe out there. Well, the day's coming to an end here. And uh, unfortunately, I got stuck on a project over here. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> I'll let you know what we did anyways. So uh, over there, yesterday we set that up. It's actually uh, a canopy, shun sunshade canopy, that'll be able to come out and extend over onto the fence over there. And today's project was hanging these lights up here, like all the way down. Unfortunately though, we'll probably just light them up tonight, if I can run a power cord to them. But um, I got hung up, because uh, I've got some other electrical stuff under here that I've been working on, and it's been set up for a while. 
the string lighting up there is set up like a jet engine uh, to keep us all in remembrance of our oldest son who's in the Air Force out in Georgia. Uh, the other thing that we were working on is some security features around the house <clears throat> having to do with the solar panels and uh, cameras and stuff like that and the lighting that goes out throughout the yard. So once we get some more of it done, uh, we get some more lighting set up, I'll get you another video so you can see what it looks like. But other than that, it for now, please, uh, Facebook, uh, YouTubers. So have a great weekend. Uh, we'll talk to you soon. Bye.